You want to break into cybersecurity but have no idea where to start. I've been working in cybersecurity for the past year and a few months now and I've gone through those steps of learning and breaking into this industry and I can share some really good steps that could help you do exactly the same. If you're worried and don't know where to start in getting into this industry, in this video I'm going to provide some clear and simple steps for you to start your journey in breaking into cyber. Please enjoy this video. My name is Caleb Only Certified. I love to make videos on the tech industry. And if you take any value from this video, please like this video to make sure that it goes out there to as many people as possible that need this video. So yeah, so I've been working in cybersecurity for over a year now, and I will be providing you with some steps to start your journey in this industry. But before we get into it, there's one thing that I've thought about that I kind of want to mention. It's important to note that there is cybersecurity in so many roles. It is a common concept in companies and in the workplace that that cybersecurity is not the job of one person. It's not the job of an engineer, a cybersecurity engineer. It is the job of everyone at the company. And this could mean simple things like, because you're not a cybersecurity engineer, doesn't mean that you don't protect your data, or it doesn't mean that you don't protect your password or privileged information. And so because of this, there are loads of roles outside of being a cybersecurity engineer or analyst that have the concepts of cybersecurity involved in them. Like even as an IT support engineer, there's many aspects of cybersecurity involved in your role and even as an infrastructure engineer there's loads of those concepts of cyber involved in your role as well and there are so many other examples of that and that is an important thing to know when you're getting into this industry and you'll find out why I mentioned that later in this video but let's get into the steps step one is to learn the fundamentals the IT fundamentals networking hardware software operating systems the basic concepts of IT before you're able to become a cybersecurity engineer, these are things you need to know and understand pretty well. And you might be thinking, how do I go about this? How do I get my fundamental understanding of IT and know these basic concepts and have a great understanding of networking and hardware and all these things? Well, there are definitely many ways of doing this, but I can only say the way that I did this. I did this through the CompTIA A+, and I'm sure you've heard of this certification before. CompTIA A+, is an amazing fundamental certification that will give you a good understanding of all these concepts whether it's networking or hardware or software or, or troubleshooting and many other things. Now, if you're thinking about taking the CompTIA A+, to get your foundations in order, there's one thing that I will mention. Now, when I took the CompTIA A+, I didn't just take this exam and study for it and pass it with just knowing the knowledge and information. I also went about practicing this information to make sure I really grasped the knowledge that I was learning. For example, right here, I have a system unit. And if you're taking the CompTIA A plus and learning a lot about hardware, a really good thing to do would be to take this apart, grab yourself a screwdriver, break this apart and start looking at the insides. Find the motherboard, find the CPU, find the RAM, find the flipping optical drive and study all of these things that you're learning in the CompTIA A+. When I was taking this exam and studying for this exam, I had a really old laptop that was sitting in the corner. I broke it apart and studied where the CPU is, where the RAM is, how much RAM is in there, loads and loads of stuff like that and identified everything that I was learning in the CompTIA A+ courses. And that is what really helped me to fully grasp my understanding of fundamental IT. Now, if you see this as an option for yourself and you wanna start learning and getting that fundamental understanding and taking the CompTIA A+, then I'm gonna put some links to some really good courses for the CompTIA A+, in the description of this video. You can go and start your learning journey with the CompTIA A+ courses. So that's step one, getting the IT fundamental. Now, step two is a very important learning process. And I've kind of put down step two as getting a cyber focused course or certification. And I have an amazing list of courses and certifications that I can go through with you guys. And all of these are pretty good. And you kind of have a few options when going into this. And my first two options are options that you can study and go for using Coursera. Now, Coursera is a learning platform that loads of people use. It's probably one of the most popular ones out there right now and just so you know I'm not being sponsored by Coursera I'm actually saying this because it is a really valuable platform and if you're trying to get into cyber there are some really good courses on there that could help you start that journey now the first one I want to talk about is the Microsoft cybersecurity analyst professional certificate now maybe I have a little bit of bias to Microsoft stuff because I'm kind of a Microsoft and is your engineer 
and a zeal focused guy but i am putting this as a really good recommendation to start this journey there is also a competing google certification which is called the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. And both of these courses are on Coursera. So if you're interested in these, go on and start these courses. One of the big things and great things about Coursera is they have a seven day free trial. So you can start your learning journey. And if at any point you decide this isn't for me, you can cancel that and move on. If at some point you decide, yeah, this Coursera course is really good, then you can start the paid version and continue the learning from there. Now, another thing about the Microsoft course is at the end of the course is that the course kind of also prepares you for the SC900 certification. And when you're taking this course, you also get 50% off taking the certification, which is amazing. And very briefly, looking over some of the stuff covered in the course, there's an introduction to computers and operating systems, there's introduction to, to networking and cloud computing, there's even a lot of stuff on identity and access management, and loads and loads more. Now, these are two great courses I'd recommend. I wouldn't recommend one more than the other, despite my Microsoft bias. So it's either you prefer Google or you prefer Microsoft, but one of these courses is a great place for the second step of getting that cybersecurity course or certification done. Now, if you're not interested in either of these, there are other options that you can go for. One of these options is the really popular CompTIA Security Plus certification. And another one is a certification I've actually passed and made a video on, which is called the ISC Squared Certified in Cybersecurity. Now, now I haven't taken the Security Plus, so I can't say much about the comparison between these two certifications. But what I have heard and I can say is that the Security Plus is slightly more broad and practical and probably a little bit better than the Certified in Cybersecurity in some ways. But both of these certifications Applications will give you a good understanding and a great knowledge base for cybersecurity and help you to move forward into step three. Now, step three is to figure out what skills and areas of cybersecurity you're really interested in. And through the cybersecurity certification or course that you've just done, this will slightly become more and more clear to you. Maybe it's going into cloud security, maybe it's going into pen testing, maybe it's going into being a red team or a hacker or whatever but this will become more and more clear. And how do you solidify the skills that you need to know to get into these roles? Well, it's time to bring out the job description. I'm on LinkedIn right now, and I'm just searching in a role in my area that I would probably want to get into. So cybersecurity engineer. Now I've just found a role as a security architect that I'm really interested in. Now it's time to look at the job description and look at the requirements for this role. This may not be a role that you're directly going to apply for tomorrow, but the point of this exercise is to look at the skills and find out what skills they are looking for in the person that will get this role. Now some of the skills on here include knowledge in a security domain like identity and access management. Now it's time to go away and from this job description, figure out how to learn this skill. It says it also wants some experience in AWS, some understanding of security technologies and whatever it says on these job descriptions, it's time for you to go away and start learning what you've seen. There are so many courses, whether it's on YouTube or flipping Udemy or Coursera that you can use to really learn and understand whatever you see on the job description. And most of the time, you won't even have to pay for any of these courses. You could just go on YouTube and search for a course on whatever you find. And it and there's probably a really good course on there for completely free. I really stress how important it is to look at job descriptions and understand what employers are actually looking for. This will really give you a good understanding of your journey and how to get to exactly where you want to be. Now let's move on to step four. And step four is basically just learning and doing a lot of projects on what you've learned from the previous step. Now the skills that you found on the job descriptions is time to put them into practice. And like I said, go after those courses online to get a really good understanding of whatever is required. Whatever that is and whatever skills are required, it's really important to go and do some projects and to actually have some practical understanding of these things and not just a theoretical one. So to get a practical understanding, projects are required. And generally, there are so many cybersecurity projects out here on YouTube. Loads of creators put out these projects to give people a really good understanding of what to do practically. And I'll put some of these up here from some of my favorite YouTubers that really put out a lot of content in these areas and help people with projects to understand things a lot better. So check those videos out and there are loads more on YouTube. Now, once you've done these projects, it's really important to document what you've done and be able to speak about these things in an interview. So make sure that these projects are really well represented in your CV, exactly 
basically what you've done, explain in a few short sentences, give a hiring manager a good understanding that you've actually gone through this. have a good practical understanding of this thing that you'll probably be working on if you get the job they're interviewing you for. So making sure this is well represented on a CV and also being able to discuss this thing in an interview setting is really important. Step five is the job search. And this is a really interesting thing because when we talk about the job search for cybersecurity, there's loads of things we could say. There's a lot of talk about how much experience you have. Now, a lot of the time you'll look at cybersecurity roles online and they'll be asking for five years experience, 10 years experience, seven years experience, and whatever the case may be. And loads of times this is really, really discouraged. How are you gonna get a job to get experience when all the jobs are requiring loads of experience? It doesn't make sense. Now, a lot of people say there is no way you can get a cybersecurity role as your first role. And although that's not true, you can get a first role in cybersecurity a lot of the times it can be really difficult and there's not as many entry-level roles in cyber as there are in other areas of tech. Like an IT support engineer on the help desk is a first role that loads and loads of engineers go through. And if you're struggling to find roles that will take on entry-level cybersecurity engineers or or analysts, then it's a great idea to go into an IT support role as your first role. And once you have a bit of experience in IT support, then you can start to look and move on to the cybersecurity roles. Now, like I said at the beginning, roles like IT support or even infrastructure engineering or many other roles have a lot of concepts of cybersecurity within them. So if you happen to get a first role that is not in cyber and cyber is your ultimate goal, when you are moving on into cybersecurity, you use your understanding that you've gained for your previous role to get that cybersecurity role. Be able to speak about the aspects of cybersecurity that you covered in your current role. And this will really help. Now, another big thing that I will say is that loads of people get stuck in that first role, especially when we talk about IT support. People go into IT support and they get locked in and are not able to find the way out to their end goal, which is either cyber or maybe it's cloud or maybe it's some other area. But once you get stuck in that role, you either get super comfortable and forget to move on. <laughs> and this part of the video is just a reminder to focus on the end goal. If your end goal is to get into cybersecurity and to break in as a cybersecurity engineer, if your first job is in the is at the help desk or maybe some other role, make sure you're seeing this as a way to get experience to reach that role. As you're working in these roles, keep your learning going in cyber and cybersecurity areas, and that will really help you to focus on that end goal and eventually after gaining the experience you need moving on into the role that you really want to be guys i hope this video has been really really good in helping some beginners to understand the way that they can get into cyber security and guys if you found any value from this video please leave a like below i want to get this video out to as many people that are starting their journeys in cyber security so they can have a great roadmap that they can use to get started and if this has really impacted you or helped you to go further in your your career please leave a comment and let me know how this has helped thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video